hello guys welcome to another video today we're gonna learn how to get uh, chrome debug logs from a mac computer these steps work from chrome version 21 up to the latest one which is chrome 70 so i don't think you're gonna have a problem with this this is the chrome path okay i'm gonna share that in the description but uh, it's actually very easy, not that complicated, uh, as soon as you have the path, of course. Uh, this site explains very well, uh, step by step, but I decided to make a video for doing things a little bit easier for you guys. So you copy the path as you saw, and uh, uh, you make sure that Chrome browser is actually quit from, from the operating system. Okay, and in order to make sure that you click at the top Chrome and then quit Chrome that way. All right, so you open the terminal and paste what you've copy and press enter. And it will automatically open the Chrome browser and you can go ahead and open and reproduce whatever you need to do or whatever you need to log. Okay, in case if if it's an issue, okay, you can definitely reproduce it as many times as you can in order to log all the activities in the file, okay? So that's pretty much it. Once you got everything you need or once you have reproduced everything, then you just need to um, close the browser. Okay, we don't need to do anything else. I mean, don't try to do a lot of things. I mean, just go to the point and reproduce the issue. Uh, so you can get the, the logs. They are very extensive sometimes when you do a lot, of, a, a lot of things. And then you press enter again on the on the terminal. And when it says done, it's because you have finished the process. Next step is open Spotlight and uh, go to the library folder so we can find where the file is stored where the file is located okay normally that's within library then application support you go to the google folder and then go to the chrome folder okay so there you find the chrome underscore debug that log uh, you can double click to open it in a text file and if you see the logs are very detailed and extensive so that's why I mentioned you need to reproduce only the issue you need to log so we cannot have that a uh, file that extensive and we can see exactly the activity of the situation that is going on. It's very important for you to write down the date and time, specifically the time where the issue was reproduced in case you are working in a trouble ticket with Google. They need to know exactly the time when you reproduce the issue. Okay. So that, that was it.